A lot of people don't understand the time commitment and um, the management that it takes for us to compete at such an uh, elite level. To have that dream oh, to go nice. to the Olympic Games, it's, it's not just a dream, we're not just tobogganing down the ice. We spend hours and hours preparing just, just to shave hundreds of a second off. So we're in the Ice House at COP. I'm here with Melissa Hollingsworth, Olympic medalist. Just uh, why don't we talk about what we're going to do today? Well, Lana, you're always on the sidelines. You know a lot about sport, but you've never actually been able to experience some of this stuff. So we're going to get you on right on the inside. On the treadmill, high-speed treadmill, we're going to have you pushing in the Ice House. Maybe have some lactic acid going through your body, you know, you'll feel like on day two. Looking forward to it. So we've warmed up, and now we're going to get right to it. a little wide, slight, get used to it, harder, push harder so you actually feel it, and then hop on and just start to jog. It's really, it's really quite slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was perfect. That was perfect. Look up the whole time. Look up. Yeah, yeah, you gotta move. You gotta move the legs. Hold on with two hands and you're gonna hop off while holding. Yeah! <laughs> nice. That was one of the most interesting starts that I've ever seen. Yeah, awesome. Wait, actually, maybe you should just come this way. It's a little, a little scary. We'll be training here in the summertime, our dryland training, where we're not even sliding anywhere from you know, four to five hours every day. And once we're sliding, you're adding that four to five hours in the gym, in the ice house, sprinting, whatever it is to get strong and fast on top of the sliding, where you're now track side another four hours. And then you're working on your equipment for a couple hours. You're doing video analysis with your coaches. And don't forget that you know when you're breaking down all of the muscles, you, you have to rest. OK, Mel, so where are we now? We're here at the Bob Niven Training Center. This is where I've spent probably 17 years of my life getting strong and fast. And when you watch these sports like skeleton and, and bobsleigh, uh, you just see the track. And we spend hours and hours and hours analyzing these angles, getting the power, getting the speed. And that all happens Good. right here in the weight room. Go ahead, bring it in. Try to keep everything nice and tight. Switch sides. You want to stay very square. Yeah, that side's good. Nice and work on What did you think? Hand rest. Good. So hold that lunge until I say move out of it. Good. And quick. Drive up. Splits. Nice. And get it over top of your head. Here we go. Yeah, that's way better. And just drop lower. Good. Good. So we're done with the weight room. What are we going to do next? While you're primed and you're prepped, you're strong and you're fast, we're gonna get you pushing a sled in the ice house. All right, let's do it. Now push it a little harder, okay? So start on the block, yep. Sort of with two feet, or one foot in front. Yep. When we're pushing in the ice house, push, 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 yes, you're, you're trying to, to nice. give your absolute best with your power and your speed, but then we're doing video analysis for another five minutes and you're, you're looking at your knee angles and your hip angles and how where your hips are relative to the sled and the sled going forward and all these tedious little things that when somebody's just as a fan watching the sport on, on TV, they don't understand that. They don't understand the little technicalities and you know how much a, a centimeter, how big of a difference that really makes in a hundredth, hundredth of a second. Because you know in Vancouver, over four runs, I missed a medal by 2,400. That was it. Well, it's not easy getting on a treadmill when it's already at its top speed. And, uh, you know, the best of the best, we've seen people fall off that. I've seen John Montgomery, Olympic gold medalist, fall off that treadmill, so don't feel too bad. It's something that's difficult, and I think it gives um, a great uh, perception for other people to see, yeah, when you're watching the, the best in the world, it looks easy. So maybe it'll give some other people some appreciation of what we do and how difficult this sport really is. <laughs> <laughs>